my bok choy is going to seed. <laughs> it's going to seed because we have literally had the most bipolar weather you can imagine. It was 80 degrees after being in like the 50s and 60s. And so this beauty right here is going to seed. I was trying to do some research and find out if I need to actually like go ahead and harvest the whole thing or what will happen because what I don't want to happen is for it to turn bitter. I am really excited about eating this and I want it to be perfect. This green stock is literally bursting with so many beautiful plants. I'm just so happy about it. Something was nibbling on this. But y'all, this is this is surviving. Remember these leggy starts? They they started off slow, but um they seem to be making it really well. So I was sharing on um Instagram uh this morning that I just walked into the garden and literally took a deep breath. It was it was a deep breath. You ever breathe in just very deeply? That's how it was. It's it's something about the fall garden that is slow and it's steady. It's literally reminding me of steadiness. It's growing slowly, but it's growing, you know, and it's being established and my heart was just so encouraged um, this morning as I just walked into the garden and I just allowed myself to just breathe, to just breathe and to be, not to do the next thing, not to think about the next thing that I need to do, but just enjoy this moment, just enjoy this space that I've come into right now. And it was so healing. It was just healing for me um, just to come into the garden. And so, although I've already been into the garden, I wanted to get on here and just bring you into the garden with me to just enjoy the growth that has and is happening in here, slow and steady. I was actually so happy when I came out, I actually embraced this pine straw. I mean, it's literally covering our driveway. We have a huge U-shaped driveway and it is thick with this pine straw and it just reminded me of the change that is coming, that is happening and the beauty in it all. And I just embraced it and I'm so grateful for it. And I'm like, this beautiful pine straw that is dying is bringing and going to help give life to the garden as it's just mulching all of these beds. It was just such a perspective shift for me. And I was absolutely so blessed by coming in here and seeing the things that had fallen from the trees that had died that was going to help bring the garden to life. Seeing so many things that I've literally never grown before. I've never grown these things before. This is just so beautiful and fascinating to me. This is a Brussels sprout plant and um, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I believe this is cauliflower. It's just something about growing something and just feeling the things that you grew from the ground. Just touching it and appreciating it.
seeing something that has died and dried up and been prepared to give seed next to a blooming flower is just so powerful. It just is beautiful. Seeing things that I didn't know is actually going to grow. Look at it's so beautiful. This is chum soy. I don't think I'll ever get tired of putting a seed in the ground and seeing it grow. It's truly an indescribable feeling. If you've never put a seed in the ground and watched it grow, you definitely should. It brings a joy to your heart that no one can truly explain. You just have to feel it. These sugar snap peas are so beautiful. They bring so much beauty to the fall garden. I could probably just sit and snack on these pea leaves all day. Such a good snack, just hanging out, outside. Mm. Have you ever eaten these? Like, this is such a new, wonderful experience for me. And these are beautiful. Oh my goodness, I just spotted our first little pea pod. Isn't that just so cute? Oh my goodness, it is so cute. I did not even notice that we actually had pods. Here's another one with the flower dried up at the end. Oh my goodness. I absolutely am so in love. Oh, but really, you should definitely try these. <laughs> So this is actually my first homegrown lettuce. I don't think I could get used to this for sure. <laughs> so placing this lavender right here is literally such a reminder. So this is right at the entrance of the garden. And it's such a reminder to just stop. <sighs> to breathe deeply and smell the lavender. Smell the lavender and just allow this experience of what we're doing, what we're taking joy and pleasure in to actually 
manifest joy and pleasure in all the things into our life. That it doesn't become a thing that just needs to be done to do the next thing. But we are absolutely just taking it all in. And so that's what I am purposing to do in my heart today is to just take time and smell the lavender hugging trees man ain't got nothing on this <laughs> just put your face in it just oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm reminded as I sit on this bamboo bench that I created with my son that this space that I'm sitting in right now was literally a dirt pile. And now it's this beautiful garden porch. It's this beautiful garden patio that I get to just sit on. <laughs> like I get to actually sit here and just look at the beauty of what hard work has accomplished. Let us not forget to actually enjoy the things that we work so hard for. Actually enjoy the life that we're building for ourselves. I mean, if we can't stop and really enjoy it, and I mean like take it in, absorb it, um, find times of just overwhelming gratitude because of it. What's it for? What's all the hard work for? It's so healing to Think on the things that bring gratitude up in our hearts. It's so healing because life can just be so overwhelming and thing after thing after thing um, calls for our attention. Constantly saying, I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. If we aren't purposeful about stopping for a minute and really taking it all in, We'll be mad. We'll go crazy. We'll, we'll, we will feel constant discontentment in our lives if we are always focused on the next thing. And so today I'm choosing to be grateful for this moment. I don't have a task today. I don't have a thing that I'm just trying to accomplish. I'm just simply enjoying. Thank you so much for being here with me and taking this moment with me to just simply stop and smell the lavender. See you guys next time.